Oh, hello. Brian here from touringplans.com. This video is all about club level. Now, I am here at the Beach Club in their Stone Harbor Club Level Lounge. And I just kind of wanted to go over what club level is, what's included in it, and why it's kind of awesome. Now, I mean, of course, it's extra money. You have to pay extra anywhere from probably a hundred to two hundred dollars a night for a club level room but what you get is access to this lounge right here and actually there's another room over there too but there's some people in it and it's awkward but this nice seating area including these cool little kids tables next to the tv which is also where i pick to sit because you know kids you get access to now, all sorts of different things. Now, it is snack time, which is basically like midday. So there are some cookies right there, lots of crackers. I haven't had these. I've heard these dark chocolate cranberries are crazy addicting. There are drinks, there's coffee and tea, soda, lemonade, water. I've been told you can get beer and wine any time of the day from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Yes. 7 a.m. and they specifically pointed out to me that I could get beer at 7 a.m. which might say more about me than them. And this is all day. There are also two attendants sitting right outside that any time during that you can ask for pretty much anything. Help getting fast passes, help getting reservations. I haven't really tried that out yet. Uh, mostly just taking care of some snacks and some tea might try a beer pretty soon because they were right I am that kind of guy but the snacks aren't the only thing they put out here it's different at every time of the day they almost always have these drinks out this is the morning so it's water juices there are hard-boiled eggs cold cuts bagels muffins it's definitely enough as long as you're not a super heavy eater that you can eat breakfast here before you go to the park as part of the midday snack, they have some potato chips, veggies, hummus, lemonades, assorted juices, the fridge with the sodas, always there and available while the lounge is open. And this cool espresso machine, coffee, tea, also always available while the lounge is open, including flavorings you can add. Now, late at night, they have this dessert tray, which that's exactly what I want to do late at night is eat dessert. I'm not lying, it really is. And of course now I can confirm that all you really have to do is ask them and they will bring you a beer. The choices at the moment are Bud Light, Yingling Lager, Sam Adams Oktoberfest, and Kona Longboard Lager. I am sure that rotates, especially since the Oktoberfest isn't available year-round. They also have a few different kinds of wine I didn't ask yet what those are. And try to take it a little bit easy uh, this afternoon anyway. Maybe wine will be a breakfast thing. <laughs> that would be an interesting day. And not only do they actually let you keep the bottle, which is really strange for Disney, there is no extra charge for any of this, except for what you pay for the room, so... But no extra charge after that. One fun thing about club level, to access it, you actually have to scan your magic band. It automatically hits the number for you. In Beach Club's case with the Stone Harbor, it is floor five, and it just takes me there. I don't know, I find that really cool. The room is just a regular room, in this case a Beach Club room, although mine isn't exactly regular. It's a king-size wheelchair accessible room, which makes two stays on this trip where I've gotten ADA-compliant rooms and king-size beds that I didn't reserve, but I'll take it, I guess, where I get it. But the lounge is basically club level access. I mean, that's what you're paying the extra for. So take advantage of it. So now it is dinner time here, which is five to seven or 7.30. I don't have the sheet with the times on it. And this is when they have the most substantial food out in the club level lounge. And I am just kind of relaxing in the corner in a chair with my food in this lovely section of the lounge. They have the beer and wine out now. They have, I got some pork and polenta here, some potato salad. This is actually my second run already. Uh, definitely substantial enough food that you can eat a dinner here. 
which is good because if you're paying the extra price, you kind of want to be able to eat dinner. It's also nice they have the beer and wine out, so if you're a little shy about having to ask for it, you don't this time. I think Touring Plants might have made a mistake here because I'm probably going to have to stay club level everywhere now. Sorry.